Welcome to the world of chocolate. It's chocolate passion, a treasury of delectable desserts prepared by eight of the country's great chefs, including Seth Rayner from Nantucket, Massachusetts, Jacques Torres and Kate Charlton from New York City, Albert Leach from White Post, Virginia, Vincent Van Heck from St. Michael's, Maryland, from Washington, D.C., Francesco Ricci and Dominique Laborne, and Rubert Lanks from Paris, France. The first dish comes from Seth Rayner, chef owner of the boarding house on Nantucket Island. It's an example of molded chocolate that is cooked like a souffle. Here it is cooked in individual ramekins, but the terrine could also go into a loaf pan. So for the chocolate terrine, we're going to take a pound of bittersweet chocolate that we have uh, shaved moderately fine so it melts quite easily. Half a pound of uh, cubed up sweet butter and two thirds a cup of Kahlua. Just combine those, set them over the double boiler, and let them melt. But you don't. You have to be careful as to not let them melt too fast so the chocolate doesn't burn. So if it takes uh, a bit of time, just let it let it do its thing. And you can give it a stir every couple of minutes. But it, it'll take at least 15 minutes. So now the chocolate is 98% uh, melted. Had a couple stragglers in there, but we can set that aside. Six whole eggs begin the next step. And a quarter cup of sugar. And we're just going to set this over the double boiler to gently warm it. And when, not to cook them, but only to warm them. And when they get a little warm, we can uh, start whipping them. But I'm just going to mix them a little bit right now. And it takes maybe two minutes to just get them up in temperature. Now the eggs are uh, warm. We're going to start whipping them. You can over the heat, or you can turn the burner off and just keep a little bit of the heat on there. And the heat from the water will continue to keep the eggs warm. This takes a while. The eggs should be beaten until pale yellow and fairly thick in consistency. And you're going to whip it till about two to three times its volume. Combine the eggs with the melted chocolate mixture. And we'll slowly fold in the egg, the beaten eggs to the chocolate about a third at a time, just as if you're making chocolate mousse. And you have to be a little careful, but it's... A little more. And the final. And if you have any of the scrambled eggs up there, you just leave them in that bowl. And you can do this with a spatula or a, a whip. I prefer to use a spatula. After thoroughly mixed, ladle into ramekins. Four to five ounce ramekins that we're just going to spray with a little Pam a vegetable coating. Just lightly spray them, get all the sides, the bottom. And now, put your chocolate mixture in. Now pour in some warm water, you can remove one of them to make it easier. Have a towel or a piece of paper on the bottom to 
insulated against the, the direct heat from the bottom of the oven. You can pour them up about halfway up the sides of the ramekin. Put that back in. Put it in a 425 oven and the first five minutes are uncovered and the second 10 minutes we put a piece of foil on top and we finish baking them like that. Now that the terrines are done uh, cooking in the oven, you want to let them cool in the water bath for 45 minutes before you refrigerate them. And at that point, you can either let them go overnight or at least in the refrigerator for five or six hours. At that point, you can take the, the cooked tureen, put it in a little saute pan with the warm water, just for a couple seconds, Take your knife, run it around the rim, and then you're going to unmold. Oh. Put the terrine back in the refrigerator just to set up. Take a little uh, unsweetened, unflavored whipped cream, it's right on the top. We have uh, chocolate sauce and a, and a, a blackberry coulis. You can just decorate the plate. <laughs> 